I was to join the International Student Volunteers, an organization that sends young volunteers to different corners of the globe. I was to meet them near LAX. If I could get there on time. I did get there on time. Here we are at a meet and greet before we would all fly away to different continents. This, this year, just, we have uh, approximately about 100 different projects just in Australia alone. And uh, we have about 100 project leaders and tour leaders that are all over the different countries right now that are leading programs for, for participants who are already in those countries. And they're having a good time with that. I was super excited to meet the members of my Thailand group. Where are you guys going today? We're going with you. Where am I going? Thailand. What are you going to be doing there? What? What are you going to be doing there? Working with elephants. Excited about that? Yeah. <laughs> why why did, you, did you guys choose to work with elephants? Is that like... Because she loves them. Yeah, love elephants? <laughs> no. Do you know... Uh, <clears throat> Do you know about specifically about the uh, the elephant plight in Thailand? Do I know about the elephant what? Plight. <clears throat> no. Yeah. Do you know about it? Do you want to tell me about it? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. That bar is pretty nice. Let me go look at it. Right it's probably hella expensive though. It's probably like eight dollars a beer or something. Like We're that. going to Thailand. <laughs> I know. It's like buckets. pennies. I guess our our project really is designed to bring awareness and bring education to all of the animal herders, who like the private owners within the cities, and also the traditional owners within the the hill tribes. And so I guess we'll try to bring some relief and some outside assistance and maybe some fresh pair of eyes to see the problem, right? Because if you're stuck with it in a box, you don't know how it looks from the outside. This is Anne. She's a vegan. This is Ashley. She... isn't. As I sat in the terminal, I wondered if we were really going to make a difference, or if we'd all catch some horrible tropical disease. We would soon find out. It's good to get away. Across the Pacific. To Bangkok, Thailand. From there, we caught a smaller plane to the northern city of Chiang Mai. We all had great first impressions of each other, which is important considering the conditions we are soon going to be living in. We loaded up and was heading towards the jungle. I'm scared of spiders. But... I'm like exactly afraid of spiders. Okay, they're definitely. Oh, yeah. Everyone, every morning you wake up, shake out your shoes. Oh my god. Yeah. Because there's like toads and stuff. The traffic in Chiang Mai is redonkulous. With trucks and buses running flat out on a street that's half a lane wide, I was just hoping to get out of the city alive. We navigated out of the city and into the thick. kilometers north of the city in the Mai Tang Valley, we arrived at Elephant Nature Park, a sanctuary and rescue center home to over 30 wild elephants. My back. I already know, I already know right now that I'm coming back here. <laughs> 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 
Elephant Nature Park offers volunteers, visitors, a unique experience observing elephants in their natural habitat. This place is sweet. I almost forgot my clothes. Someone forget their shirt? Yeah, man. Okay. Thanks. Mammoth is a straight up jungle man. He was born in a hill tribe with no birth certificate. He has no idea how old he is. So everybody, you know my name now. I'm Brad. Call me Brad right now. People call me Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, people call me Mammoth. 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 Yeah, XD. Mammoth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harry. Mammoth. Yeah, I'm not uh, aggressive, so don't be. Okay. <laughs> uh, everybody, you're just coming here today. You don't know them and they don't know you. So, uh, please do not approach any elephants by yourself alone. It's the main rule. Yeah, we ask do not approach them by yourself. This turned out to be a pretty hard rule to follow as I discovered they're even ratter up close. Oh, that's an was adorable on the fact that she was afraid of virtually everything. You'd be scared too if you were this close to a hungry elephant. It's so scary. You try eating this in one bite. They have to eat about 300 kilograms of food per day, all of which has to be harvested by volunteers. You also kind of had to be on your guard here, as you never knew what was coming up behind you. Alright, let's see. They just graze all day, and they get bathed twice a day. Bathing elephants, as it turns out, is super fun. Most of the people here were day visitors from Shanghai. I didn't know who was having more fun, the elephants or us. Not like it really matters, it's just a great way to get clean. As long as you avoided floaters. <laughs> elephant charges are extremely rare, but if you do ever see an elephant moving towards you, it's probably a good idea to move out of its way. Although we were having like the coolest time ever, it was time to get some sleep. Tomorrow, the real adventure will begin. The first day of work had arrived. I was pumped and glad we had all gotten plenty of rest. So me too, how's, uh, how's sleeping in uh, mosquito tents? Yeah, and... um, I could not sleep. I got like one hour of sleep. I was paranoid, they were like in my underwear. During the day, Volunteers are kept active with many tasks that need to get done. You can think of it sort of as a big commune, but with elephants. We were building houses and moving big heavy bags. There was never time to take a nap. I'm not used to hard labor to be honest. But we were all happy to help. This land used to be a coffee plantation for Starbucks. But now it is home to elephants, water buffaloes, and like a hundred dogs running wild in the park. I wanted to help them all. This is Jack, our project coordinator. I couldn't wait to find out what noble assignment we would get that would save these elephants. As it turns out, our assignment wasn't as glorious as I had imagined. Excited to pick up poo? Yeah. <laughs> What kind of poo? Um, buffalo and cow. It's my favorite kind of poo. They say somebody's got to do the dirty work. I just didn't know that it was going to be us. Our volunteer effort was quickly becoming one big poopy adventure. When we weren't busy cleaning elephant crap, 
We were working hard in the fields, planting corn, which is the main food source for the elephants. It was around this time when I realized that doing hard work was going to be harder than I thought. During the monsoon season of July and August, the average temperature in northern Thailand is about 33 degrees Celsius, which in Fahrenheit is like 90 degrees, but with the humidity, it feels like a million degrees. And if the sun is out that day, then you're out of luck. Today we were charged with loading up all the poo in the field. In the blazing sun, it's not an easy job. In Thailand, it feels like you are a mile away from the sun. Your skin sizzles in direct sunlight. It was like this every single day. When we were done loading up the poo, we would then dump the poo in a big giant poo pit. At night, you have to be careful where you walk, as there's a lot of holes to fall into. But at least they're all pretty soft landings. That elephant is laughing at us. Well, time to call it a day. All I have to do now is not fall on my face. Are you okay? Oh man, help me up, dude. Help me up, bro. Damn. Grab my wrist. Get up. As Brian and Eno laughed at me for being scraped up with open cuts and covered in elephant dung, I thought about what the point of all this was. I had come here to save these elephants, not clean up after them. If there's one person who could be given the most credit for maintaining this animal's well-being, it would be this guy. In Thai, they're known as mahouts. In English, they're known as the extremely righteous dudes who look after an elephant for the animal's entire life. Elephants live as long as people. Anywhere the elephant goes, a mahout is sure to follow. So what were we doing there? Shedding sweat and tears over minuscule tasks? I began to lose hope of saving anything. That was until they had us watch a documentary made by a filmmaker named Jennifer Heil, which talks about what Lex Park is really about and how elephants are traditionally trained in Thailand. For not all mahouts are as nice as the ones here at the park. Trying to move him into the village turns into a mob scene. <laughs> to me, it's chaos, but villagers say it's all part of training. They'll do this every day until the elephant obediently follows his owner. Lek argues brutality like this can make elephants aggressive and dangerous. That was eye-opening. It really showed you uh, some stuff that I didn't. I had no idea what was going on. A girl named Lek who devoted her life to rescuing elephants, um, and baby ones, newborns, um, from newborns. The breaking process they use to tame the elephants, they accept humans. What breaking process? Sorry. Um, they use nails with uh, sticks in the end and they poke the elephants, so enough to make them bleed and really cry out. It's something you don't see in zoos, that's for sure. Like, 